morning loves um it is sunday i'm about to get a little movement in gonna go on a nice long walk but before i did i wanted to intro this video that you guys are about to watch look at this morning hair <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a what I eat in a week, but just for dinner So Monday through Friday I show you guys what I eat for dinner just because I feel like dinner is a time that I get to play But also kind of giving you guys a realistic schedule because sometimes I don't want to cook So I am looking for like the easiest thing possible and I know a lot of you guys can relate to that So I'm going to add that in here or not add that in here. I'm gonna do that for the week I've only had a little bit of coffee. So here girls not alive yet. I hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure to comment below what you guys want to see next and let's do it okay I'm in a weird mood I feel it I'm being funny it's only me in here but I just I just feel it so it might come out tonight but I actually did a late workout today, which is not usually my style. I hate working out in the afternoon. On Mondays, I have like my full call days and Zoom calls, so I'm just sitting for so long and they start pretty early. So I've been trying to work out Monday afternoons after those calls to kind of get like that movement in. And it does actually feel really good, but now it kind of throws me off because Actually, I, sh I shouldn't say that. It doesn't throw me off, but now I'm like, oh shoot, I need to cook dinner and it's getting kind of late. I'm not wearing a watch. So yes, it's go time. I also want to tan tonight, so there's just a lot to do. So I'm gonna make a really quick one sheet pan, which you guys know that is my jam. That rhymed. <laughs> I don't know if I should be filming right now. I'm being weird. A one sheet pan is one of the easiest things that I tell people when you're in a hurry. This is my go-to. You also can just leave it in the oven and walk away, which is my favorite type of cooking when I'm in a hurry. So I'm gonna do a one sheet pan, super easy. You guys, you pick a protein, you pick a veggie, and you pick a carb. That's how it goes. You'll really figure out the times for each, but a lot of the times they're super similar. And like I always share with you guys, the best thing to do while cooking for me is turn on that YouTube video, turn on an episode of something, call that friend, call my mom. I'm not just focusing on cooking like I am cooking, but I'm not just like sitting there super bored. I'm also just like letting my mind relax and release and know that it's time to shut off. Having that like little side relaxation and self care while cooking does feel really good. And then again, cooking will get easier. You will get used to it, so. Let's get into it. For my one sheet, I'm going to use sweet potatoes this time and some veggies and chicken. I'm gonna add a lot of veggies just because JT asked. So we're gonna add more veggies this time, but really you could just pick one vegetable of choice. First, I'm gonna chop up my sweet potatoes into cubes. Again, you use as many sweet potatoes as you need. I'm going to season it with a tablespoon or two of olive oil and some salt and pepper. You'll add the sweet potatoes in the oven first for 10 minutes just because they take a little bit longer to cook. But again, it matters the carb that you are using. For my veggies, I chose zucchini and broccoli and bell pepper. And I'm gonna add some olive oil, salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. I'm also going to do the same for my chicken, same seasoning, and mix it all up. Now I'm going to place it all onto one pan and then I'll put it into the oven about 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so this is the best part. Everything goes into the oven and now I can clean up the kitchen. I can do things while it's in there for 20 minutes. You're not having to sit by the stove. It's just in the oven and now I can get stuff done. So I'm actually gonna cut up this gluten-free bread that I got. As you guys know, I don't eat gluten, not because I'm celiac, but only because when I went and got my hormones tested, she was letting me know two of the main things that I can do in my diet to really help not create more inflammation and things of that sort was no gluten, no dairy. And I already do no dairy because I actually have an intolerance to it. I get really bad stomach aches and it's just like not a good thing. But gluten was newer for me. So I have been eating gluten-free bread, which is like very hard to find good brands. So there's this company called Super Bloom Bakery. 
I mean, this is a loaf of bread. Like this is what you want when you're trying to look for gluten-free bread. This is their sourdough. And then I got bagels, all of that. So I bought a, like a good amount. So I need to put it into the freezer. So I'm going to chop it up and then put it into the freezer and then I can use it when I want to. So going to do that while I wait for the dinner to finish up. lighting in our in our room over here always makes me look really orange but anyway I'm gonna sit and eat this dinner with JT it really took me such little amount of time it's super easy you guys can mix up the protein you want mix up the veggies all the above so I just really appreciate that but happy Monday friends You guys, welcome back to the next day. It is Tuesday. Let me get in some lights. We're gonna be spending a lot of time in my kitchen this week or this video. <coughs> JT and I just got back from an event a little bit ago. We went to a workout event today, which was super cool for a product that our friend started called Barcode. So we did a workout and now it's kind of an awkward time and we're both really hungry. So I'm actually gonna cook an early dinner tonight, which would be goals to get in bed on the earlier side tonight since last night that didn't really happen. So I'm feeling like something quick, easy, which I think this whole video is like that quick and easy, especially in the weeknights. And also our freezer broke. So I need to use a lot of the items in there that are going to go bad if I don't cook them. So I right away thought about my um, beyond meatballs that I love. I cook with these quite a bit. They're super easy. So I'll stick these in the air fryer. You could also stick them on the stove completely up to you guys. I just like the way that the air fryer cooks them. Um, and then I'm just going to make some chickpea pasta. I am going to use this sauce from the brand Treff. This one and Primal Kitchen are my favorite sauces. Um, but really you could pick whatever pasta sauce works for you. And then I'm going to use this chickpea pasta, which you guys already know, super easy. This is my go-to. If you guys wanted to, this does have enough protein in it where you could just eat this, but um, I really like to add the meatballs to really just like have that like pasta feeling. And then as far as veggies, I'm either gonna do asparagus or zucchini. So that'll just be on the stove. It'll be super quick, super easy and tasty. So here we go. You guys also, this is my really giant air fryer. You do not have to get this size. It was a gift, so this one also has a grill in it. Truly, JT and I rarely use the grill. We mostly use the air fryer, so they have like the small air fryers that are like handheld and are like this big that you guys could keep on your counter. But oh my gosh, if I could tell anyone to invest in something, it would be an air fryer for easy, simple meals. It is so fast, so quick, but actually makes them really tasty. Baby, you turned on the TV? Oh, I thought you were done talking. <laughs> First, I'm going to add the meatballs into the air fryer. I find that they give them a really yummy, crispy taste on the outside. Chopping up some asparagus, I will make this on the stove and I'll be looking at my pasta, make sure it's going good for the next eight to 10 minutes. Okay, while the things are cooking, which again, I don't have to be like sitting over the stove, it's just like making, you guys can hear the air fryer going. I decided I'm gonna make a dessert. A little bit for you guys, but also a lot for me and JT. I just asked him, would he rather have cookies, brownies, or blondies? And he voted brownies. So I'm gonna make some brownies. I honestly haven't made dessert for us in a minute, so I think it'll be really nice. So I'm gonna show you guys my gluten-free brownies. I got it from my girl, No Bread. I'll link the recipe below. They're so good, so easy. I feel like the amount of times I say so easy, but if you guys do not know me by now, I am all up for just making a healthy lifestyle as easy as possible and as enjoyable. And I think having it be more convenient is where I enjoy it. So that's why I say that so much, but let's get some brownies going. For the brownies, you're gonna do one and a half cups of almond flour, one cup of coconut sugar, 
a fourth cup of cacao powder, a fourth teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of salt. For the wet ingredients, I used a separate bowl and added two whisked eggs, a fourth cup of almond milk, a fourth cup of coconut oil, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then you'll add the mixes together and stir it up. Then I added in some dark chocolate chips, only a little bit because then I will drizzle some on top as well. Setting my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, I will leave them in for about 20 minutes and then I'll check on them and probably leave them in for another five. While I am making this in a shape of a cake, this reminds me that I need to buy actually like a brownie sheet because this is literally for cakes and I never make cakes, but this is the only one I have. So this is a great reminder, writing it down that I need a new brownie pan. Once the pasta is done, I'm going to add the cooked meatballs and the pasta sauce on top. You can use whatever pasta sauce you like. Primal Kitchen and Treff are two of my favorite brands. All right, dinner is complete. I thought I had Parmesan cheese, like dairy-free, but I don't. So I would usually top it with that, but this looks so good. Again, so easy. And now I'm just waiting for the baking to be done. So I'm gonna eat this and yeah. Bam. I feel like I need to take a seat. So JT and I just got back from a little walk. We went on a walk with some friends because it is stunning outside. Like it is so nice. Now I'm gonna make some dinner. Tonight I wanna make a recipe that again is one of my go-tos, which is a like a Mexican bowl, which you guys have seen me make. So again, I do one new recipe a week. So it looks like if I'm planning out my week right, tomorrow will be my new recipe. And that's just me planning out um, energy wise where I'm at. I feel like today I've kind of just been a little slow and a little bit Blah. I'm actually feeling good. I just feel like I'm moving in slow motion. Like I'm a little bit of a turtle. So I feel like tonight my mind is not in the right place to cook a new meal. It's to go to my go-to. So this is the goal is you finding those meals that you're like, okay, it's kind of second nature. Like you're just like, okay, I'm making it when I have more time. That's when I experiment and have fun with a new recipe. That's still slightly easy, but I'm still having to like focus and play with it a little bit more. And right now, if you're in a place where your go-tos are a little bit unhealthy still, just still going to your go-tos, but trying to remove maybe the things that make it not the healthiest, if that makes sense. So anywho, I am, um, yeah, guys, I'm just excited to be here with you today again um, on this Wednesday. We've been like spending a week together. So I'm gonna get to making this Mexican bowl. I'm gonna use ground beef. You absolutely could use anything that you desire. You could use um, tofu, like ground it up and almost make it like a scramble, almost like ground beef. Or you could use chickpeas, lentils, many options. So I'm gonna go for that and then, yeah, let's get into it. For my Mexican bowl, I'm going to make some rice. You could also just heat up some frozen rice. And then for my sides, I'm doing tomatoes, red onion, and some lime. Again, the best part about the Mexican bowl is you can really make it your own. I'm gonna add some black beans and some corn. Truly, you guys, that was quick. I mean, just jiffy. I love a good jiffy sesh. The only thing that I would say is like annoying about this dish is I heat up like the beans and the corn all in separate bowls. So that's just more dishes, but it's all good. It's all good. Everything's ready to go. The only thing I'm trying to figure out is which topping I want. So I feel like you have to have like a good sauce. JT's such a sauce guy. I wasn't honestly before I met him, but now I'm into it. But um, Siete also makes this cashew queso, which is just muy bien. So I'm either gonna put this on top or you guys know me and my bitchin' sauce. This one's like almost out, but I have another one for backup. This one's made from almonds, which is insane. This is made from cashews. 
and you guys it tastes really really good you could even heat this one up so if you wanted this one to be warm this one would stay cool but really good options for your bowls for your chicken anything like that to top i think i'm gonna go queso because i have this more with my meals and i just am craving this so i'm gonna go this and make my bowl All right, my loves, this is another meal down. Happy Wednesday, I'm gonna dig into this. And then I probably will have a leftover brownie from the ones I made yesterday. They were so good. That is just my dessert for the whole week. I'm gonna eat this, chill out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for dinner again. Cheers. Happy Thursday, friends. It is Thursday, it is time to make dinner. We have a situation though, my refrigerator broke. It is broken. The other day it was just the freezer and now it's the whole fridge, so I've literally been sticking just some small items into our mini fridge in the gym, but I'm working with what I got. My plan is to make a tofu bowl with like some quinoa. This is actually my night. I'm gonna do my new recipe. So, you know, I pick one recipe a week that's on the newer side. Tonight is the night. So I'm going to do that. And then tomorrow night, I for sure will have to go out to dinner instead or like get a dinner to go because the fridge will be actually gone uh, because it is broken. Plans are changing. Let me grab my phone. I actually saved a recipe from this guy. Let's see. Oh, I'm on 1%. Okay, I found this guy. His name is TBCP. Interesting. But he has bomb vegan dishes. And not like I am a vegan, but I do like to play around and some nights not eat meat. So I'm going to try this dish he did. Okay, it's a quinoa tofu bowl and we're gonna try to make it, all right? So let's get into it again tonight. I have a little bit more time to play around and not feel as stressed to make something that is newer, but still it seems very easy. So let's do it. Okay, so I honestly never usually cook with quinoa. I haven't really ever loved the taste. It's pretty bland to me, but it says an option to cook it with some broth to kind of give it more flavor. Also quinoa has, it's very high in protein. so. I am going to play with it, but I have to say I usually go for rice. This is a time where if you did not like quinoa, you could substitute it for rice instead. But I'm going to play and see if I end up liking it. So we'll see. For the quinoa, I'm going to add two cups of chicken broth. You could also use water and one cup of quinoa and let that sit on the stove. While the quinoa is cooking, I will chop up my tofu and my zucchini. Once I add it into the pan, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of some olive oil, add some paprika, as well as some dried oregano. All right, this, this dish is turning into a little bit of a mess because the reason I picked this dish is because it had like this dreamy, fresh avocado mix on top. My avocados are brown. So that's like a little bit of a bummer. I'm debating of what I will put as like the sauce because the avocado he had on top was like dreamy. So I don't know, I'll get creative here, but quinoa's done, so let's get it. I ended up finding a little piece of avocado that worked, so you could use a small avocado. Okay guys, let's see how this tastes, because it looks pretty. We'll get a little mix of it all. Quinoa still doesn't do it for me. I feel like it's just very bland. Maybe I need to spice it up and add something. The tofu, excellent. I love cooking tofu, and it gets like crispy on the outside. I feel like trying it in the air fryer would probably be unreal. So like the tofu and zucchini, the cabbage is honestly refreshing and nice. It's just the quinoa that doesn't really sell me, but still a really yummy bowl and again, super easy. Maybe add my own seasoning, maybe make it more Asian cuisine type of vibes. The guacamole and the tofu throwing me off. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh. Happy Friday, friends. 
So update is, you know how I've been saying, hold on, I'm in the pitch black when I walk. As you guys can see, I did not know my microphone went out. So here I am just talking and you guys cannot hear me, but um, pretty much I'm telling you guys that my fridge broke. And so now we can't make dinner for tonight, which is so okay, because it's Friday. So JT and I are gonna go on a sunset drive and take you guys along with me to get food. And then I'm showing you my cool new fridge that we got. Like, I don't know if you guys ever noticed the other one, but snazzy, fancy. The other one used to be like, here was the fridge and then the bottom was the freezer and now it's like here is the fridge all i have is literally bags of bread and some milk all you need so pumped about that and then this side is the freezer so anyway i'm gonna grab jt we're gonna head to manhattan look for some food enjoy the beautiful sun set and i'll see you guys soon So we decided to get burgers and I looked over and also saw one of my favorite dairy-free ice cream spots. But here's me saying goodbye to it because the line was way too long. So we're heading home. What a shot. Okay, so as far as what I got, I got a burger and I got it on a gluten-free bun, which kind of looks like a biscuit. And then I just got some regular french fries and then JT literally got like two burgers and some fries, so he really went for it. All right, my loves, this is a what I eat in a week for dinner. Again, tonight kind of was a surprise, but usually JT and I on the weekends order in anyway, and one of the nights for sure we play and like go to a grimy burger spot with french fries. So I'm super hyped about it, and we're gonna enjoy this, and probably just turn on a movie and chill. So a chill Friday night. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a very realistic week of eating with me. I totally get that eating can be super confusing and I want to just be super real with you guys of what I eat, how I have really implemented eating healthy into my routine because I get that it's not easy, especially with a busy schedule or not knowing where to start. So I am here for you guys and let me know what you guys wanna see next. And as always, please like and subscribe because it helps my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.